Bienvenidos, welcome to Spain on a fork today. We are making the most amazing beer batter potatoes. Once again, we're grabbing the humble potato and turning it into a beautiful dish. In fact, in this recipe, we're gonna treat the potato as the main ingredient, which is what gives these potatoes that incredible texture and flavor. Folks, this is what great food is all about. This recipe is very easy to make. It is made with the most basic ingredients and the flavors are absolutely delicious. I'm going to begin by rinsing two Yukon Go potatoes under some cold running water and scrubbing them clean. As always, I'm leaving the skins on the potato as it gives them a beautiful texture and flavor. But if you prefer, you can peel your potatoes as well as use any type of potatoes that you like to make this recipe. Once the potatoes are well cleaned, I'm going to pat each one completely dry. To cut the potatoes, I like to cut off a little bit from the end and then cut them into slices that are between half an inch to a quarter inch thick. And as you're cutting your potatoes, transfer them into a baking tray that's lined with parchment paper and make sure they're all in a single layer. Then I'm gonna brush a kiss of extra virgin olive oil on top of each slice of potato. and season them with sea salt. And freshly cracked black pepper. And I'm gonna add the potatoes into a preheated oven, bake and boil option. That's the bottom heat and the top heat, 250 degrees Celsius, which is 475 degrees Fahrenheit. If your oven doesn't do both functions at the same time, just bake them for an extra five minutes and make sure you flip the potatoes halfway through the cooking process. After 22 to 23 minutes, those potatoes should be perfectly roasted. I'm gonna take them out of the oven and set them aside. While our potatoes are cooling off, let's get our beer batter ready. I'm gonna add in one cup of all-purpose flour into a large bowl. One teaspoon of baking powder. A generous half teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika. One teaspoon of garlic powder. A generous half teaspoon of fine sea salt. And some freshly cracked black pepper. And I'm gonna mix all the dry ingredients together. For the next step, I'm gonna grab a Spanish beer at room temperature, measure out half a cup, and add it into the bowl with the flour mixture. I would say this beer is very comparable to, say, a Heineken. And I'm also gonna add in half a cup of water. And I'm gonna whisk all these ingredients together until they're well mixed, and we end up with a batter that has no lumps in it. And that's the exact texture you want from your beer batter. Okay, our potatoes have slightly cooled off, so let's start coating them in the beer batter. Before I do that, I like to dust each slice on some all-purpose flour as it helps that beer batter really stick to the potatoes. And make sure you coat that potato all over with that beer batter. And as I'm coating each potato, I like to leave them in the bowl with the beer batter. You set them aside. That way they don't lose any of that beautiful batter. All right, let's start frying up our potatoes. I'm going to grab a large frying pan, heat it with a medium heat, and add in half a cup of sunflower oil. After heating the oil for about four minutes and it's nice and hot, I'm gonna start adding the potatoes into the pan. You wanna cook these in batches to not overcrowd the pan. And remember as you're adding your slices of potato to shake off any of the excess batter. After about 60 to 75 seconds, I'm gonna start flipping the potatoes to fry the other side. And that's the beautiful fried golden color you want from each potato.
And after frying our potatoes for about two minutes, I'm gonna start removing them from the pan with a slotted spoon and transferring them into a dish with some paper towels. And continue to fry up your potatoes in batches until they're all done. And check it out, our crispy beard battered potatoes are done. Look how beautiful these turned out. Let's give one of them a try and see how they turned out. This is seriously what it's all about. Here we go. Come on, you're not even fair, here. Have one. Seriously, guys, such an amazing dish. The potatoes just kind of melt in your mouth, and you got that crispy beer batter that is so good. Combine them together, and it's absolute perfection. Yes, also easy to make. Came together in about 40 minutes. Make this at home, and I guarantee it will completely blow you away. It is that good. Really quick before I go, a quick shout out to one of my patrons, Jim Owens. Again, Jim, thank you so much for all your support. I truly appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you're not with me on Patreon, consider becoming one. Help with ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this. You'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and iCard above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below. And if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.